Hello and welcome to part four of my Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum. Right, so um, where we left off, um, Rui told us to go and get some Pokeballs. So when you try and leave um, Fenak, she says that we should go get some Pokeballs at the Pokemon. So that's what we do. Let's just go in here, get some balls. Yeah, I make very bad common jokes. Oh, look at this. They don't sell Pokeballs. Whatever will I do? Right, what you're going to do here is come round here, talk to her. That's it, her. I like calling it her. She says that they sell Pokeballs at the outskirts stand. Modeled after a locomotive. Sounds familiar. I think we've been there before. So, now we... We now, uh, leave Fenat and go to the outskirts stand. I'm actually going to try and make it so that this vid doesn't get edited on Windows Movie Maker at all. Because then I can get it uploaded faster and it's better for you people watching. So you come in here, talk to this... Oops, wrong person. I don't care, shut up. It says stuck upon supplies. Do you sell Pokeballs? <gasps> There's no call for those things on these parts. Where did he put them? Ooh, he's got a cool bandana, hasn't he? Okay. Nice hair too. Look at those trousers. Ooh, free Pokeballs. Yes, I would like to buy some. I'll buy five Great Balls. They're Great Balls. And three more Pokeballs. So, I've got 13 balls in total. 17 if you can't set other balls. Anyway, um... Now we'll go back to Fenner. Yuck. And as soon as you arrive, this woman that you saw before runs up to you. There's a whole lot of scary men came here. Including the two creeps. That's a bit of an over overused word in this game. And I'd also like to apologise for weird stuff going on with the camera. I don't have a clue why it does that. For some reason it just suddenly decides to shift about a bit. I don't know why. The camera's not actually moving, it's just the angle. So anyway, here's a quick scene and I'll just stay quiet. My god, that dude was gay. So anyway, we now have to have another fight with Folly. And he sends out a Wizma and ooh, a low tag. And you know, I obviously send out these two. Oops. What the why is he only got three Pokemon? Didn't he have two Wizmas before? That's a bit strange, isn't it? We just got rid of a Wisma. Why not just take two Wismas and a low tag and then you'll be much better off because you'll have three Pokemon. Won't help you much, but whatever. Adding a low tag didn't help you much either, so whatever. Ooh, nearly dead. I quite like the music on this game. It's quite, it's quite good, if you ask me. Oh, another flinch. I like getting flinches with this with this guy. So, yeah. The music on this, I think, is much better than quite a lot of the music from Diamond and Pearl. Especially Myra B's music. He's quite cool. The Myra or Mirror? I don't know, because it's got one R, but I think it's probably based on Mirror Ball. I don't know. I'm just going to call him Mirror B. He's got an Afro, so... 
if no one cares. Not that Aqua isn't bad, Aqua's a mint. I started getting an Aqua. Just looks like a mushroom or whatever. I'm rambling out there. You got tripped up again. I didn't do it. So now the guy with the funky hat comes up. Ooh, he duels you now. And it reveals his name's Trudley. 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 Are you kidding? Trudley. It's just the weirdest name I've ever heard. I've heard some weird names. Right, so... I'm going to start by... Fighting the Dust Skull and using Confusion on Spinarak. Oh, crit. Useless crit. How can I get a crit on the Dust Skull? Because I'm not going to kill it. Oh, he sends out a Makuhita. Level 30. A bit high, innit? Oh. Ooh. It's that one, that Pokemon, whoa. Those jerks captured me. Oh, she didn't say creeps. Black Aura, they must have done something to it. And it punches me from across the room. With a falcon punch, yeah. Isn't afraid to attack people. Yes, I can see that. Get that Pokemon back from the bad guys. Why don't I just run up and grab it then? Yeah. It'll be a bit easier. So my bite kills the Duskull. I wasn't expecting that, actually. This goes a bit bulkier than that. This is actually quite a worrying thing. Um, well, I'm gonna. Ooh, I don't know what should I do. Try to check something. Hold on. Uh, right, I'm gonna use secret power from Umbreon. I think. Ooh, this is really hard. Um, I think I'll just bite. I know it's not very effective, but I don't want to be doing too much damage to it. And I'll use Return, because Espeon's special burst. So physical attacks won't do much coming from it. No matter how happy it is. And my bite hits. Oops, that's chipping away slowly at it. And I get a flinch. I'm going to try throwing a Great Ball at it, see what I can do with that. That's Pokeball or whatever. She threw a snag ball. Wee! Random spinning around. A bit over dramatic, whatever. Wiggle. 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 Yay! Caught it. Caught Makuhita. And um, I think that's going to be just about it for this part. I think there's a little cutscene after this, and then we'll end it there. You snagged my Pokemon. Hey, what are you saying? You're not supposed to be impressed. What are we supposed to do? We got flattened again. Rara B is going to chew us out. Oh, good for you. What do we do? What is there to do? Run away! I did it. Yes, I did. So, um, we'll end it here. Um, see you in part five of my Pokemon Coliseum Let's Play.